Hello, I'm Jyoti Sharma and you're watching Agri Business News. Let's start with the latest updates. Apira has chosen to market and brand organic foods from Ladakh in order to increase agriculture exports and farmers' income. The interview will be carried out in collaboration with Union Territory officials as well as the Defence Institute of High Altitude Research. Apira will give technical help to stakeholders like businesses, bureaucrats and farmers in the areas of stakeholder capacity building, branding and marketing of Ladakhi product and transforming Ladakh into organic region. Rubber Board Executive Director K. N. Raghavan has launched a landslide zonation map of rubber plantation and a mobile app Ruback with the Ruback app a nationwide census is to be prepared for comprehensive database on plantation and growers Sijanta Innovation Challenges will be organized by Rethink Events Limited on 27 July 2021 This webinar will provide insights about the challenge focus and Sijanta's innovation strategies including its work with startup this webinar will be mainly focus on the biological inputs and seed technologies for sustainable and regenerative agriculture to improve the productivity of farmlands for people and the planet the innovation challenge winner will be receive coaching session with relevant senior leaders at sigenta and technologies guidance support based on the innovators needs Indian Finance Minister has rejected the demand to remove the 10% import duty on cotton. The Cotton Textile Export Promotion Council has appealed to the Union Textile Minister Piyush Goyal to remove the custom duty on cotton as it's mainly the extra long staple branded cotton and contamination free cotton that are imported. The government refused to accept their demand saying that enough incentives are in place for their government's industries under various schemes. Filipino farmers will become the first in the world to be able to cultivate a variety of rice in rich with nutrients to help reduce childhood malnutrition after receiving the green light from regulators. Dr. Jean Belle, Director General of IRRI, a CGIAR research center said, this milestone for the Philippines at the global forefront in leveraging agriculture research to address the issue of malnutrition and related health impacts in a safe and sustainable way. MIDH coordinating a small farewell program virtually for Mr. Dan Aluf Agri Councilor and introduction to the new councilor for Masaf Mr. Yer Ezil Agriculture Department and Dr. Lair Asaf in Water Department Dr. Satin Riyadh Director Horticulture at Government of Haryana said we worked together for a long time and I worked as a cluster head in Indo Israel projects A collaborative online training program is organized by ICR IIHR Bangalore and National Center for Management of Agriculture Extension Hyderabad on the topic extension for horticulture technologies from 27 to 29 July 2021. Narendra Singh Tomar Union Minister for Agriculture and Farmers Welfare said as many as 27 pesticides are under consideration for ban and the government has appointed an expert committee to look into this issue. For more agri updates keep watching Krishi Jakran. Thank you.